Hey guys and welcome back finally to another episode of the Sims 4 Dreamhouse Challenge. I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded this. I have been desperate to upload it. You guys have been asking so so much about the series thinking that it stopped it completely. Guys I definitely haven't. My PC was just in repair. It has come back. It's chilling out to my desk now. It's come back very loud. I don't know why it's so loud but you may be able to hear it in the background a tiny bit. It's a little bit louder now but it doesn't matter because we finally got back to The Sims 4. I was so scared that my game wasn't going to be there, but look, load game, Ali and Claire. There we go, guys, we're still there. The files are still intact. I had to do a little bit of searching around. Everything's moved around a little bit, but it's fine. We are back. And here we are back in the dream house. We've been there for a couple of episodes now. Some things that have changed. Of course, you guys asked me to change up James's appearance. Here is how he looks now. Very, very cute with his little matchy hair color to mum and dad. And then of course we are in the beautiful dream house. It's very amazing. It's everything we wanted it to be. I've got some ideas of things I want to do to make it even better for you guys. And you've suggested some ideas in the comments too. So I'm going to go ahead and click play straight away and then we'll have a little catch up once we're in the house. Oh look! One person has downloaded what? What have they downloaded? Why? Why have they got this crazy name? I think I've just done that. That's very strange. I'm not quite sure why they're on there looking like that. But guys, we are back. Oh my gosh. It has been so long. I've missed it so, so much. But I'm back with the little family. Where is everybody? James is chilling out. He's in bed. I mean, it's 1am, so that's exactly where he should be. And are we both in bed as well? Oh, Ali's up. I don't know what he's up to, but he's up. He's up and about. Look at him, he's get, it looks like he's getting quite buff, actually. Well done, Ali, well done. He's still walking around in the blue pants. He's always in the blue pants, by it, guys, but so, so happy that they're back in the house. So if you remember, I mean, you have to cast your eye back because it's, it's so long ago now, but Claire and Ali had tried for a baby, and I wasn't taking a pregnancy test this time. I was going to let the feats decide and just figure out if Claire manages to get a little baby bump or not to decide whether we were going to be having a baby or whether we needed to try again. I am wanting a girl if we have a baby this time, so I am going to eat, I think it's strawberries and listen to pop music, but we have to wait, guys, and see if she's pregnant, first of all. You know who also? <gasps> what? The butler's downstairs eating, what's he eating? Some tofu tacos. Listening to like some pretty grungy rock music all on his own All on his own the butler's always been a little bit of an interesting one guys He has, has stayed up late a few times now just sat here Gone to his little globe and just drank on his own for hours and hours and I was oh, 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 guys, It's happened eating for two Congratulations Claire is expecting there's going to be a new addition to this household. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, 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 look. She's got her first little baby bump. There we go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, can Ali like congratulate her on the pregnancy or anything? I did not think it was going to be happening this quickly, guys. I did not think it was going to be happening this quickly. <gasps> it can't ask about the baby, which is kind of weird. Like you think that you would be able to, but apparently you can't. Oh, oh, he gave her a little kiss though. So. Claire's definitely expecting, which means, I don't know, I feel like this outfit is very much like, here's my baby, here's my belly. Maybe a little bit much, maybe a little tiny bit much. Okay, Claire, what's she gonna go downstairs and eat? Eat some cereal. No, you need to eat strawberries. Okay, she is definitely gonna be eating lots of strawberries, guys, but in the meantime, I think she needs to change her outfit up a little bit. Something a little bit more maternity-like, I would say. Not that there's anything wrong with wearing a crop top and showing off your little baby belly, but I just, I would just prefer something a little bit different. So, oh, I'm so glad they're all back. Guys, you don't understand how happy I am. I literally thought mm -hmm. I'd prepared myself for the worst. I definitely prepared myself to lose all of my Sims, all of my saved files, all of our beautiful little journey so far, guys. I did think that we were gonna have lost that. So I think she just needs to switch up the top a little bit. I mean, she could go ra full reindeer. Why go part reindeer when you can go full reindeer? Or I'm just kind of thinking something a little bit flowy. Maybe something like that. Something like that that kind of like accentuates the bump a little bit. Being pregnant is pretty hard on your feet, so she needs something a little bit comfier than those boots. So let's just swap her out to the little flats. Just some little guys like this. I think they're quite cute. Maybe a little sandy sort of color. Oh no, that does not go with the top. No, I'm gonna keep her in these. That looks like the comfiest outfit for when you're preggers, guys. I think that's a good preggers outfit. Shall anybody else switch up their outfits? 
I mean, maybe maybe we give James a little new outfit while we're here. I feel like I might have ordered some new like little boy's clothes. Like, I think that's quite cute. There we go. He's looking pretty cool now. Did I get some new hair? I don't think I got hair. No. That's fine. He looks pretty cool. And then last thing is last. Let's get Ali some new clothes. Oh, guys. I quite like this. It's like a little sort of... um. Oh my gosh, it's an American sport. I want to say baseball. It's like a baseball. I think it's like a baseball jacket. I think. Or is it American football? Guys, I don't know. I don't know quite which one it is, but I think it's pretty cool. It does not go with those though. Look, I got like these new like little baggy trousers. They're sure if your pants, but his trousers are a little bit too high for that. What about some like these? These are very skinny <laughs> jeans, but they've got the knees out. I think they're quite cool. And then I showed Ali his hair in my last video, and he preferred the OG hairstyle. So we'll go back to the OG hairstyle for him. <gasps> How cool is this hairstyle? <gasps> I like that. The color's all wrong, but I think that's quite cool. It's kind of shorter on the sides and really tussled on top. But look at the little, the little flicky bits at the front. I think he'd like that. I think he'd like that. I'm gonna go for that. He looks cool. He looks cool. There we go. So. All the looks are updated and Claire is pregnant. I'm so happy that she's pregnant. Also, I don't know why everybody's getting up at 3 a.m. I've just realized that. You know what, if you're not super hungry, you're kind of hungry, but everybody get back to sleep. It's too ridiculously late to be getting up. Go back to sleep, everyone back to sleep. So one thing that happened, I think it was last week, is that The Sims announced a new content pack was coming. I want to say it's called Parenthood. I think it's called Sims 4 Parenthood. And basically it adds loads new of new interactions you can do with your um, toddlers, with your children, loads of cool extra things that just make Parenthood a little bit more exciting. I think the pack is coming out on like the 25th. I'm gonna check it now because I think we'll just missed out. Like if it had come out a little bit sooner, it would have been perfect timing for the little baby. Oh, so it comes out on May 30th. It is called Sims 4 Parenthood. What date are we on? <gasps> Guys, I don't know if we're gonna get the full advantage of it. I think that the little girl might be, she'll probably be definitely be a, a child by then. Maybe we'll have to have more kids. Maybe we'll have to, maybe we should try for twins. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see. We will definitely see what happens. So I will definitely get that pack. Um, and when it comes out, we can play it and we can see what it's all about and see what these news interactions are. So there we go, James is up in his cool new little outfit. I'm not sure if I need to order strawberries or if they're just gonna be in the fridge. I guess we'll find out very soon. Has the butler made us some breakfast? What is this? Butler? Hello? Hello, stop practicing being a butler in there. You need to assign task. Cook, cook a family meal please, butler. Poor James is up there trying to cook things all on his own. There he goes, ringing his little bell, ringing his little bell. So you guys have also mentioned that you want to see, and I, I think I agree with you on this. Let's see if we've got enough money. You wanted to see the return of the spaceship in the garden. So let's see if we can make this a reality, guys. Um, let's have a look. Rooms, outdoors, outdoor activities, spaceship. £4,000, okay, it's coming back, it's coming back. I think the neighbors would probably complain if we put it there. So let's move it back a little bit, maybe, maybe over there. And then what I would like to do at some point, I would like to do a pool. I think the garden would look really cool with a pool. I'm not sure if this plot goes back a little bit further than I first originally thought as well. If I could move the plot back further, we could make a really, really cool pool. I may actually see if there's any custom content for some really nice pools. So if you guys have seen anything, let me know and we will make a really cool pool in the garden. Maybe not today, but today has seen the return of this bad boy. You guys were sad when it left and all of James's friends and him liked playing on it together. So there we go, it's back, it's back. Okay, Claire's up and oh, I forgot she's gonna need to wee all the time. <gasps> Claire was gonna start working an hour. Still need to earn good money for the house, guys. Look at Ali. He's getting a good little bod coming along there. Look at this, look at this. Look at this little line here. That, I think that's new. I also don't know why he's cooking since there's literally beautiful garlic noodles right there. And he just threw his pancake on the floor. He thought nobody was looking and he picked it back up and put it back in again. Ali, that's disgusting. Don't eat that. Ugh, he's made an omelette, but it looks gross, guys. You guys did actually also say, James's room, it's a very cool room, but you're right, it's not a very child-friendly room. 
So I tell you what, let's let's get in here now. No, that's not what I meant to press. And let's get some cool like kids room stuff. Okay. Toys. What toys can we get him, guys? Okay, so he's got a little robot. That robot's facing a very strange direction. We'll get him an Ultra Ball because obviously Ultra Ball's the best ball. Well, that's the one you're gonna want, isn't it? Um, oh, he needs his violin back. You know what? We can get him a, like a lit one now because we've got money. Boom. There we go. Uh, what else? He had his science kit, didn't he? <gasps> okay. Would it fit in his room? Okay. Everything is very squished together, but hopefully he can still use it if it's there. I mean, it's quite hard to tell like when you're in this sort of buildy by mode, but oh, it's also, is it facing the right way? No, it is facing the right way. Okay, because he was becoming a good little scientist, so when he gets home, we'll test all those things out. So there we go, guys. He's got a bit more of a child-friendly room again. Claire, I'm pretty sure you're meant to be at work. I don't know. You're starting work very soon. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's weeing all the time because she's so pregnant. Go on. Go do some pregnant wee-wees. What did you guys say? She needs strawberries. Strawberries. Uh... Can you cook a strawberry? No, she could have a strawberry cake. See if Ali can order her some food on the phone. <gasps> Strawberries, yes, okay, we've got a strawberry, but we can also plant a strawberry. So, let's, why can't we plant it? Blag, drag this item into the world. <gasps> Is that planted? No, plant. <gasps> yes, okay, so if I order loads of these packs, Claire can eat some of them, but then she can also um, grow some of them. Double the amount of strawberries for everybody, guys. We're definitely gonna have a girl. We're gonna have a little girl. I also have a name planned, but I wanna wait until she's born and then I'll tell you guys. Okay, so Ali is planting the strawberries because he really wants a little girl. Can you um oh, hire a professional gardener? This is a good thing about living in the dream house, guys. We should get somebody to do that for us. Like, we ain't gardening. We'll just get someone to garden for us. I also got 17 <laughs> seed packets so that Claire's got some strawberries to eat as soon as she gets home. They're both also at the top of their career ladders, guys. So really, they don't need to be stressing at work. See what, just do some socializing. Just do some little chit chats. There we go. Look at the, look at the butler. He's got a drink in his hand again. Guys, our butler is a total alcoholic. Total alcoholic. Oh look, our gardener's here. She looks like an anime character. <laughs> look at her hair. Check her out. She is our little cutesy gardener. She kind of... I want to see if she's got purple eyebrows because she could be the babysitter from before in disguise. <laughs> trying to come back to us. Ali has all these wonderful little strawberries. Can we just put them somewhere? Oh my gosh, am I going to have to individually place them? <laughs> oh my gosh. It won't let me just place them in one go. So I'm just going to put them all in here, then Claire can come and collect them all. That is a lot of strawberries. That's the strawberries. Definitely going to have a girl. I'm going to be so sad if I've done all this and then we don't have a girl. The slow process. <laughs> I'm sure there was an easier way to do this. Maybe he could have just gifted her them. But he was going to work, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. And the final one. Okay, Claire, you're gonna have to open 17 seed packets now just to eat loads of strawberries. Eat the strawberry, open the seed packet. Oh, guys, guys, here we go. Yay, she's eating the strawberries. Oh, look, look, do you see that? A little pit, a diaper with a pink pin. Maybe that means what we think it means. Claire, time to eat some more strawberries. And then I hope you like pop music. There we go. Okay, she's probably gonna have a bit of a funny tummy tonight. The butler's drinking again. But she's eating loads of strawberries. So the next thing to do is to come over here and listen to... You guys said pop music, I think? Pop! Come and listen to pop. No, I do not want a burrito. I wanna listen to pop music. It's nice happy music, guys. Look, she's doing a little jiggle. Can you see, like, you can see a little pregnant Tum Tum. Pregnant again. Oh look, she's off to go clean up after the butler. Pregnant ladies should not be doing that. So little James is outside playing in his cool little spaceship. He's got to go dominate his homework though. And look, there's a strawberry bush growing right there. Okay guys, I'm legit a little bit worried now. <laughs> At the sheer amount of drinking this butler's doing. He's also creepily staring at my child. We may have to fire the butler. 
Let me know if I should fire the butler, guys, because I'm, I'm definitely leaning that way. I'm thinking we may have to fire him, because all he does is drink and be weird and listen to heavy metal music. I don't know. Okay, so James is able to play his violin by the looks of it. How is he sounding? Because he was sounding pretty bad before. He has not improved. What the hell? So I sent James to go and just practice typing. But instead, he went to my makeup table and he's put makeup on. James, what? What are you, James, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Look, he's like uncomfortable. He's embarrassed from like putting the makeup on, but he keeps doing it. Why is it, where is he even getting this makeup from? Has he got it in his inventory? What are you, James, what are you doing? You're not even, how, it's not even a vanity table. What is he doing? Where is this makeup? What? There's no makeup there. What is he even, oh wow, look, he's happy now because he's done his makeup well. He's got his makeup on fleek now. It was a mess before, but look. Now his makeup is on point. In a clown kind of way. So ga James, <laughs> games? James has got some more little things that he needs to try and achieve before he becomes a teenager. So he wants to reach level 10 of the motor skill and he wants to be able to make it across the monkey bars three times. Now we actually had monkey bars in the old house, but we don't have them in this house. So I suggest we definitely get some more little monkey bars. There we go. This is one of those things that I can remember being a kid and like finding it really easy. If you put me on monkey bars now and saying try and make your way across, it's so hard. Like monkey bars are hard. I think kids have so much upper body strength and adults just don't. Especially like, I think girls have weaker upper body strength than guys. So I noticed that I just can't do stuff like that anymore. I wanna train, I wanna get strong. I wanna get back to being strong again. I need to start doing some more gym limbs. But I could not make it across the monkey bars, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Claire's got morning sickness, guys. She's feeling pretty uncomfortable. Look at that little bump to bump. Is it getting any bigger? <gasps> now she's very uncomfortable. Morning sickness, she's hungry. She's off to go get some strawberry cake. You know what I'm thinking? The same issue may arise before where Claire put on a lot of, a lot of weight when she got pregnant last time. She didn't do any exercise. And she sat there eating cake for breakfast. I think she's slipping back into old habits, guys. So I think, you know, once she gets over this whole morning sickness business, you can still do exercise when you're pregnant. You obviously can't do heavy, intense exercise, but you can do a little cheeky bit of exercise. And so I'm gonna get her to go for a run. I'm actually gonna get Ali to um, go order some more little cheeky strawberry bushes. Cause look, I kind of like having them growing. Has he just watered it? Oh, he's just watered it. I mean, it's kind of, has he, has he over watered it? It looks a little bit sick. It looks like he's watered it a little bit too much, but look, our first little strawberry brush is growing. I kind of like the idea that now they're all rich and they're like, if they retire, they need a hobby. Maybe Ali could garden. Maybe that could be his hobby. Okay, Claire. Oh, Claire is not able to go jogging whilst pregnant? What? You can jog when you're pregnant. EA, settle down. You can definitely do that. That's ridiculous. Claire, go take all your anger out by sitting here and listening to pop music. Go view the frog. Just sat there staring at frog, being like, when will I have my child? So Ali's getting into this whole gardening business. Look, we're planting some grapes, planting some plantain, planting plantain. We actually had plantain in Oaxaca the other day and it was really good, pretty <laughs> yummy. Oh my gosh, Claire's eating more cake, guys. It's happening! It's happening again! Oh my gosh, can she do any sort of, any sort of activities? Oh my gosh, I forgot that we've got a gym. I literally forget about the gym all the time. Claire can do some working out. Oh my gosh, why don't Claire and Ali just do a little bit of gymming together? Is this all just for show? Oh, he can't interact with any of that. Practice your punching, Ali. There we go, look at this. Oh, look at Ali go. Yeah, check that out. Check out his little punching. <gasps> Claire's getting her sweat on. Well done, Claire. Good lass. You don't want to go crazy, but you, I mean, you're making that look very hard. I think, I think because Ali walks around in his pants so much, 
We should make Ali get really, really buff. I think that would be fun. It's cool having a gym in your house. Look at them go. Can they like interact while they're working out or not? Oh no, it's too, it's too intense. It's too intense. They're working out so hard. They can't do anything but work out. James, why don't you, uh, what are you doing? You're just talking to yourself there, kiddo. Talking to yourself and eating cake. You are your mother's child. Why don't you invite round? Oh, ho, ho, ho. James has got new, new friends. Okay, why don't you invite round? Good old favorite dear. Invite to hang out. She's your babe. She's your babe. Dear Data will be on right over. Yes, yeah, she will. She wants to go and see little James. Oh, she looks all sad. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. You have to go cheer her up, James. She looks so sad. Invite in. Tell her a goofy story. You can make her happy. <gasps> Look how sad she is. Oh, oh, I forgot she has no home. <laughs> She's sad because she has no home. She has no family. I shouldn't laugh. No home, no family. She has nothing. So just just be really nice to her. Really nice to her. None of this being mean. I think James is a little bit mean. I think he's a little bit mean. Tell her a joke about bananas. Is she looking any happy? Oh no, she's still sad. Oh, she's sad because she has nothing. But she has James as a friend. There they go. Doing little selfies, making friends. You can cheer her up. You can definitely cheer her up. I don't think you can ask, like, you can't have, like, a sleepover, I don't think, on Sims. I don't think you can. You guys should let me know if you can. But I don't think you can have a sleepover. Otherwise, he could invite her to stay over. Okay, they finished their working out because Claire really needs a wee. Pregnant people wee all the time, guys. All the time. And then once you've had your baby, you wee without even wanting to. Babies are fun. Why can't you do heavy lifting? Only Claire can do heavy lifting. Maybe because she's got more of the fitness skill. Oh look, the butler has been in here. Oh, there he is taking his glass. I knew it. I knew that I'd been his glass. <sighs> Ali starts working one hour. Okay, you can work out until then. Look at that, look at that chest muscle. He's building up that chest muscle also. Is it just me or is this gym like the darkest room in the whole house? I don't think I ever put a light in there cause look at night it's just like, work out in the dark. So you don't have to see your own body. Lots of lovely bright lights in the gym there, so they don't feel like they're working out in the dark anymore. Ali is gonna get buff, guys. We're gonna get him more buff. He's gonna look freaking awesome. Oh, Claire's getting well into this pop music thing. <laughs> look at it, just grooving on, being pregnant, getting her groove on. I honestly thought your bump would grow a lot smaller than that. Like, it grows slowly and work its way. Oh my god, oh my god. I thought it would go slow and work its way into a big bump, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is some pretty fun dancing there. Look as well. Pregnancy boobies. Pregnancy boobies are happening. <gasps> Look, she can invite James to feel the baby. <gasps> so I didn't realize that she had to invite people rather than just choosing and walking up and being like, I'm gonna touch up your tam tams. <gasps> Come on, invite him to feel the baby. Share the big news. So this is us telling James. We're new. We new, James happy? <gasps> Ali is invited to the demo of an up and coming game at its launch party. By the time the game's revealed, he's feeling a little days more socializing. But he's been smack talking. Oh, he's done this before. Step up, Ali. He's in the zone and crushing it. I think, look, James is really happy that we're having a little baby. Why don't you invite him to feel the baby? This will be so cute. Wait, wait, wait I want to get in the, the best possible viewpoint for maximum cuteness. I don't want the butler. Oh, fine, the butler can be in there as well. Here we go. So he's gonna. James is gonna feel the belly. Ah, <gasps> uh, there we go, guys. James is feeling her little pregnant tum tum. How cute is that? You still want to show him though that he is still a very important member of the family. Become best friends with him. Give him a little hug. There we go. Even though you're pregnant with another baby, you still love the one you have. <laughs> Express your love. Oh, there we go. There we go. Claire and Ali have fallen off touch and are no longer best friends. 
it's kind of awkward since, you know, they're, they're married and expecting their second child together. Look, I can make the light in this room red. <gasps> look, the lights are red. How cool does that look? Oh, wow. Look how red. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is a very, very red room. And Claire's having a little nap because it's, it's difficult being pregnant, guys. It's very difficult being pregnant. So there we go, guys. Claire has told little baby James about her up. He's not baby James anymore. He's child James. He's not even. He's not even the youngest member of the family because the youngest member of the family is in here. I'm dying to work out and I miss leg day. I I never usually miss leg day. Lies. Everyone misses leg day because leg day is hard. But no, I I can't go to the gym because look, I'm pregnant and sleeping on the sofa right now. But. There we go. So Claire is definitely pregnant. We're doing everything in our power to make sure it's a girl. If you guys have any more tips on how I can make sure that this little baby is gonna be a girl, let me know in the comments below. I think James took the news pretty well. And when Ali's home, he's gonna be looking after the garden. That's his new thing now. And I actually think that very soon we should be able to get more homegrown strawberries to make sure that baby is a girl. Let me know your name ideas in the comments below. I'll tell you what I was thinking, guys. I was thinking we've got a James, and Ali and I were saying the other day how much of a nice name Jesse is. So if we have one Jesse and one James, then we basically have Team Rocket. We have Team Rocket. Ali wants to hire a scheduled gardening service. There we go. So we could have Team Rocket as our children, and then if they bring um, animals into the game, to be fair, if you bring animals since the game, we're getting Evie, Oliver, and Darcy, so not me, Arthur. But still, Jesse and James, let me know what you think of that name idea. And maybe she's going to have her baby in the next episode of The Sims 4 Dreamhouse Challenge. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you're in Notification Squad, not only do I love you guys, but you'll get to see all these videos first. And I monitor all the comments, and especially when it goes live, it's easier to see all the comments when it first goes live. So if you're in the squad, I can chat with you guys in the comment section when the video goes up. So... Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I shall see you in the next one now that we're back with Sims 4 on a working PC. See you guys in the next episode. Bye!